Hi, in this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to install the latest version of Flutter, Flutter 3, on a M1 MacBook Pro, but it should also work for other Macs like the Intel Mac or even Windows. Let's get started. Go over to Google or another browser and type Flutter install. And then go over to the install Flutter documentation link. Next, head over to Mac OS. And this link will be in the description below. So first, we would need to install the Flutter SDK. I'm on an M1 Mac, so I'll choose Apple Silicon. But if you're using Intel, then choose your respective one. I'm currently also on the latest version of Mac OS, which is Mac OS 13 Ventura. And my Flutter just done installing, so I can go, I'll go ahead and open it. After your SDK is done installing, scroll down a bit and click on Update Your Path. It will take you to a location where now we'll need to basically update our path variables so we can run the Flutter command globally. So first we need to find what um, shell we're using in our terminal. Open your terminal. And then you can see that if you're running ZSH, it will say that on the top. Echo, dollar sign shell command, it will show you if you're in Z ZSH or bash. Then we can now edit our file. So nano, dollar sign, home, forward slash dot zshrc, click enter. We will need to copy this and I've added my path here. To get the path of your build bin folder, go over to where you added your Flutter folder, so mine's over here, and then double click on your bin folder and then click option on your keyboard, which you can copy bin as path name. And now head over back to your terminal and you can paste your path here. Now click control X and then it will prompt you to save it. And your nano file should be saved. Now you can run to see if Flutter, so now it should give you this. And you can also check if Flutter is running, or running Flutter Doctor. And I also have Android Studio and Xcode installed. Now let's set up Flutter on Android Studio. So let's open Android Studio. And now we need to go into plugins. I'm going to type Flutter and then click install. So installing the Flutter plugin also installs the Dart plugin, which is a program language for Flutter. And restart your IDE. Great. Now all we have to do is create a new Flutter project. So you would click on Flutter over here and then choose your SDK path by browsing it. Click on your Flutter folder, click open, click next and choose a name, I'll name this example. And it will start creating a Flutter project. So here, and now you have Flutter installed and set up in Android Studio.